this video you will learn to paint this simple landscape. I'll also be teaching how to paint dense grasses. So let's get started. We'll start by giving a wash to our painting. Apply a uniform layer of violet on the sky area. As you move down, increase the ratio of water in your mixture. I'm using mop brush number 0 for this purpose. Now grab any thick round brush to add perspective. Make sure that the sheet is still wet in this area. I'm using light red, burnt cyanide, sap green, lemon yellow and emerald green. Apply watery burnt timber for the light tone of the ground. Apply lemon yellow in the grass area. Now apply sap green over the first layer. Apply watery burnt sina on the tree trunk. Apply watery sap green in this area. Now add middle tone on the ground using burnt umber. Apply watery light red on the roof of the hut. Wash the brush and using the color picking method add highlight on the roof. We have assumed the light source to be from the upper right corner. Now using a fine brush add dark tone on the roof of the hut. Apply watery raw umber on the hut and using the color picking method add highlight on it. Apply watery raw cyanide on the hay. Apply watery paints grey on the rocks. Now add dark tone with some hard edges. Then using a wet brush, soften all the hard edges. Repeat the process on the other stone also. Apply dark tone of burnt umber on the ground.
Mix a little bit of paint grey with light red and apply it on the inner side of the roof. Now apply dark tone of burnt umber on the hut. You need to practice painting dense grasses, therefore I am showing you the real time video of painting dense grasses. Carefully observe the movement of the brush. Add small strokes of light shades for the grasses. Add some lemon yellow strokes to show the effect of sunlight on the grasses. Add middle tone and dark tone in the grasses. Now start adding dense grasses. Add middle tone on hay.
Apply lemon yellow on the plant. Till it dries out completely, we can paint the tree trunk. As promised, I have taken the tree trunk painting to the next level. Mix a little bit of black with raw umber and apply it on one side of the branch and merge it using a wet brush. Now again, make this color of milky consistency and apply it on this side of the branch. Add a base of watery burnt sienna on the tree trunk. We are assuming the light source to be from the upper right corner. Therefore, we will be painting accordingly. Keeping the light source in mind, apply color here and merge it using a wet brush. Use the color picking method to highlight this area of the tree trunk. Use a wet brush to make a stroke over this area and then wash the brush. Just keep on repeating this process until it comes out to be perfect. Carefully observe the painting of this trunk. Copy all the strokes that I am adding. Copying the art of an artist is the most recommended method of learning new techniques, principles and to adapt to various styles. After the base is done, add fine lines on the trunk. I am using my triple zero brush for this purpose. Remember to leave the highlight areas.
add a little bit of watery raw umber. Till the time it dries, we'll work on the other part of the painting. Add color inside the ring and then using a wet brush gather the color towards the depth area. Using the same shade add a crooked border to the grasses. Add patches on the ground using a dry brush. I'm using raw umber for this purpose. To add lighter patches, I'm diluting the same shade and then adding patches on the ground using a dry brush. Now I am renewing the colors of the rock. Using paints grey, add the shadow of the hay, keeping in mind the light source. Now paint the plant using sap green for middle tone and ultramarine blue for the darker areas. I'm adding a tree behind the hut. I'll be using the wet on wet technique for the tree. Using lemon yellow and then covering it with sap green for the middle tone. And then ultramarine blue mixed with sap green for the darker areas. We'll make the tree trunk after it dries out completely. In the meantime, add some birds in the sky. Adding the tree trunk and some more details in the painting. And 
we are almost done. I hope this video proves to be fruitful for you all. Let me know your views in the comment section. Also, do connect with me on my Instagram and Facebook handle. The link is in the description box.